Whitelist Switcher is a brand new tweak that lets you clean up a messy app switcher. After you install Whitelist Switcher, you can head to the Stock Settings app and there you'll find the settings for the tweak. Now in the settings, it's actually really simple. There's a kill switch at the top so you can enable the tweak right here. And then there is the allowed application section. Now I haven't went into the allowed application section and enabled any apps right now. So let me show you what the app switcher looks like now. Yeah, pretty barren, right? That's because I haven't whitelisted any apps. So whitelist switcher prevents any app from appearing in the app switcher until you do that. Now let's go to the settings again and let's go to allowed applications and let's start enabling certain applications and whitelisting those apps so that they appear in the app switcher. So I have three there, that should be enough. And we'll go to the home screen, we'll open up the app switcher. And you can see there's three apps, one, two, three, only the apps that I whitelisted. Now, of course, I have opened up more apps than that in the past. So let me show you what the app switcher looks like when I disable whitelist switcher. And you're gonna immediately see the difference here. So not only do I have the three apps that I whitelisted, but there's a whole bunch more apps there as well. Those apps were hidden, of course, because I did not whitelist all the apps, but only three. Now, there is one little issue that I have with whitelist switcher that I found, and that is in some apps, when you open up the app switcher while within another app, you'll see that that app takes on the background of the app switcher. So you can see the background of the settings app there in the app switcher. Uh, when I invoke whitelist switcher. And if I go and let's try opening up Safari here and let me try to invoke uh, the app switcher. You can see Safari is there as well. So um, you can still interact with Safari. It's kind of an interesting, kind of a neat effect, I guess you could say, but probably not the intention of the developer there uh, to be able to browse along Safari and still use the app switcher uh, with whitelist switcher enabled. So uh, yeah, that is one little hiccup that this tweak kind of brings to the table. So keep that in mind, it's not perfect yet. It is whitelist switcher, ladies and gentlemen. It is available right now on the Big Boss repo for 99 cents and it's compatible with iOS 8. Again, there is that little bug where the background kind of acts funky, but uh, hopefully that'll be fixed in the near future. But this is a great way to clean up a messy app switcher, folks. It's whitelist switcher. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.